Hey everyone, this is Michael again. I'm back, and I know it's been three weeks since I last did a video. Um, I've just been really busy lately. I've been enjoying the summer, and you know, I've just been really busy. I graduated high school, which is awesome. Um, but today, I'm going to be showing you all, like I said in the uh, DVD update video, um, next video, which is this video. I'm going to be showing you all my NES collection. And I've got a fair amount of games, so uh, let's get to it. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my NES collection. And first, I'm going to start with the cartridges first. Um, the first one here is Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. Uh, it's a good game, uh, pretty good golf game, uh, highly recommend it. Uh, next is Tecmo Baseball, it's a classic game, really, really classic game. Uh, in my opinion, the graphics in this game, um, still hold up to this day. Uh, graphics are really cool. Sound effects are awesome too in this game when you hit the ball. Yeah, it's a classic. It's a classic game. Highly recommend it. Next is a piece of shit game. And probably and the first game on the NES. The worst well the worst football game I own on the NES. This is the first one. And it's NFL. Horrible, horrible game. Such an abomination of a game. Uh, controls are sloppy. Uh, even when you get to the, uh, even when you try to get off the scoreboard, it takes like 10 minutes for the scoreboard to go back to the game. Yeah, it's an abomination. Made by, it's made by LGN, who is the company that made uh, all these worst games for the NES, no, yeah, for the NES, and uh, all the other consoles, and all other consoles. But, avoid this game. It's garbage. Next one is Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. It is a great game. Uh, very fun game also. Uh, you get to fight, uh, you know, boxers, fellow boxers, and if you beat all of them, you get to take on Mike Tyson. Um, and let me tell you, when you fight Mike Tyson, he is very hard to beat. Trust me, I've seen some people online that uh, reviewed this game and have played this game, said it's hard for them to beat Mike Tyson. And yeah, but trust me, it's very hard to beat him. Uh, but it's a good game. Uh, highly recommend you play it. It's good. Next is WCW Wrestling. Uh, what can I say about this game? Uh, it's okay. Um, it's not that perfect, but... Uh, I had a little problems with this game. Like, it's kind of hard for you to... When uh, they put a submission move on you in this game. It's kind of hard for you to break out of it. And stuff. But, it's a okay game. Uh, I would recommend it. Next is... Jordan vs. Bird 1-on-1. -on -one. Uh, this is a good game. Uh, it's... It's not perfect, but it's okay. Uh, you could play, uh, you know, one on one in this game. You could play like one player, or you could play like two if you want to play against, uh, like, let's say if you're Michael Jordan and you, you want to play with Larry Bird, you could do that. Uh, but it's a good game. It's okay. But it's not perfect, like I said. Next one is a very fun game. 
Blades of Steel. This is a classic game. Uh, lots of fun. Highly recommend it. Uh, also, I would recommend Jordan vs. Burr 101. Um, but Blades of Steel is a classic. Um, you get to play around. And also, when you when you try like, to take the puck and the, and the other team is hogging the puck, you could actually fight them. You, sh you could actually fight the opponents for the puck. Um, and this is the second game I saw, the second hockey game I saw um, that you could fight, you know, the players for the puck. The other one w was the um, that I saw was that did that was uh, Wayne Gretzky's uh, 3D hockey for the N64. You could also do that too. But Blades of Steel, highly recommend it. It's a classic. Next is Ice Hockey. Uh, it's okay. Um, it's not. It's not my favorite. It's not as good as Blades of Steel, but uh, in this game, uh, you could play one on one. You could play, uh, you know, only you versus the computer, and also you could play uh, in the world tour in this game also. But uh, it's a great game. It's like I said, it's not as good as Blades of Steel. Uh, next is Baseball Stars. Very good game. Uh, it's lots of fun. Um, this it has great music in this game also. Uh, but I highly recommend you play it. It's good. Next is another piece of shit game. John Elway's quarterback. Horrible game. Just, it's a total abomination. It's as bad as NFL. Um, I highly recommend you don't play this game. Um, next is The Legend of Zelda. It's a classic. Very good game. It's got the golden cartridge. Um, yeah, it's a classic. I don't have the sequel to it, but I hear it's a good game, but it's pretty hard. But the sequel's... I heard the sequel's pretty hard also. And, uh... Next is... The last of the cartridge. The cartridges is... Kung Fu. It's a... Great game. Uh... Very good. I would recommend it. Also, I would recommend Legend of Zelda also. And the sequel also. Um, but Kung Fu is great. Um, highly recommend you play it, like I said. Uh, so yeah, that's it for all the cartridges. And um, I'm going to make a part two here. And in part two, I'll show you uh, the the NES, my NES collection games that's, that are all in boxes still. So stay tuned for part two.